Obviously, uh, good freshman season for you. How, how's it feeling to start a fall year two? Feeling great. I can't wait for the season. I just, I just want to get there. I just want to get there. Yep. What's been your focus in the off season? Uh, just a lot of weightlifting and a lot of eating. Because uh, last year I was about, I think I was listed at like 217. And uh, the most I've been is about 240. But I, I lost a little bit of that, so I'm probably like 235 now. Yeah, so it's been, it's been just eating and gaining weight and good weight. Is that kind of a, a double-edged sword of, like you said, good weight? You can't just sit and binge whatever you want, but has that been kind of fun to kind of have that? Yeah, I was trying to, so I was trying to eat a lot of food, but eat a lot of healthy food. So I just get a lot of salad and just overeat salad and like broccoli, which I don't really like broccoli, but I'll just have to eat it because I got to uh, gain weight somehow. Obviously played really well last season um, at that weight, you know, which is kind of pretty undersized for a tight end. What was maybe the biggest difficulty last year of being that weight and where do you think you can, you know, uh, a lot of blocking, yeah. blocking and a uh, pass protection because our offense uh, tight ends, we got to pass protect. And sometimes those big guys, they, they can move you, especially those guys from Maryland. And I know those guys from OU, they'll be able to move you too. So gaining weight, that helps with that. So yeah, just get stronger. Yeah, I mean, how, how much is that going to help you be more of a like an every down guy and not just looked at as that pass catching tight end, you know? Yeah, it, it will help because especially those guys, uh, those coaches in the NFL, they want that. They want a bigger tight end because you, you got to be able to run routes and you got to be able to block guys. So And those DNs in the NFL, those are the biggest guys in the world. So yeah. Got three freshman tight ends uh, here now. What's it like kind of working with those guys? You kind of let them, teaching them the ropes a little bit about what it was like for you last year? Yeah, they, were, they remind me a lot of myself because we're about the same age, they're a little younger than me. So, yeah, just trying to learn everything. Uh, like me, I, I came in in the summer, so guys like Tripp and uh, guys like Adam, they, they're just getting here and they're just learning everything. Adam's only been here a few weeks, so, yeah, he's got to learn everything. So, yeah. Rhett was kind of talking about how important of he is for Nolan Matthews Harris. What have you seen from Nolan just kind of through the offseason up to this point, um, you know, trying to put together a healthy season? Yeah, he, he's been great. He's been great. He's, uh, he's like a coach to me because last year uh, when sometimes he couldn't play. So, yeah, I get off the field, come to him, ask, ask for help. Even guys like Cam Allen ask him for help. They're all good coaches. So, uh, yeah, and then whenever they get out on the field, they can they can just go like me. Uh, with, with all that depth that – guys now kind of have a tight end or competition I should say um, what's kind of the goal for this tight end room to take the next step just overall as a unit this year uh, just to increase productivity just do that um, just especially with blocking increase productivity blocking increase productivity uh, throwing the ball catching it so yeah we just got to be more productive how much fun is it being in an offense that really doesn't just use a tight end but really utilizes a tight end I love this offense because we throw the ball and I just love catching the ball, so that's my favorite part. It's like my high school offense. We just throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball, so yeah, it's fun. Everybody talks about the wide receiver run SMU's on with producing them for the league, but they're on a nice little run of tight ends going to the NFL too with Kyle and Grant, guys like that. Yeah. How do you feel about trying to keep that going? Yeah, I want to be the next one. That's that's my goal. I just want to be the next tight end, the next great SMU tight end. Um, I had another question and I forgot. What have, what have you seen from Preston so far this camp? Preston's a great quarterback. It's starting starting last year when I got here. We I've been throwing with him forever. So in practice, which you don't really see it on the game field because uh, he hasn't played yet. But in practice, we've just been working, working, working. So yeah, he's he's been a great QB. This defensive line looks very improved. You know, a lot bigger too. A lot of new guys came in. What have you? What's it like blocking against that defensive line? What have you seen from them so far? Uh, so uh, Eliza Roberts. He he's rough. He's he's hard to block. He's a big guy, and uh, yeah, we got a lot of good de uh, defensive tackles, new DNs, and so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to watch them. How do you guys take the next step to getting to that conference championship, and how do you try to take it day by day versus thinking about those expectations that are there? Uh, yes, yeah, I guess take it day by day. You can't look ahead like the Louisiana Tech. We just gotta start with them first. Then prepare for OU, and then uh, Prairie View, and then uh, TCU. Just take it day by day. Don't look ahead. Just win every game. Talk about eating. What are you, what's on the menu today? Let's see. I don't know. Last, uh, yesterday was pasta and chicken, which that was good. And uh, I got a little salad, too. But I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Right now, it's just a lot of water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, RJ.